All right, so Clay Thompson is back versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. He dropped 17 points in this game, which was insane because he's back. So let's watch the highlights. Yo, he's back. Like, the moment this game started, I, I had a feeling he was going to go off. And that's what he did. Yeah, this was, this was the best play of the game. Just because he got this started. He got this started. And the, and the crowd went crazy for it. Because, like... Ran the first play for him. Runs to the corner. That's, Lamar Stevens on. Lamar knows that's just Clay Thompson. Guy. Right there. It has to be. He's just waiting, kind of set him up. Got the first that was the there. best play of the night. Get some help from Mark, and it didn't matter. But then there was this play. Clay's got Jared Allen on a switch. This was insane. He shot the world with they this gun. I honestly did not know Clay had that type of athleticism. Dumped on the whole city of Cleveland just now. To Lamar Stevens. Look at that. Man, Clay had a great reaction. Did you see Steph's reaction to that dunk? This was his 12,000th point in his NBA career. And the first three since, like, June 2019. That was a tough shot. They just told Looney, I got marketed. Let me handle him. He went off in the third quarter. He had seven perfect. points. He had like three threes in this game. He He's was really popping off. Now. Comes up with another steal. Play for three. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This feels familiar, doesn't it? This is just like good old times, Clay and Steph. The best backcourt in the NBA, I swear. I mean, Jordan Poole is going to have to take a backseat to Clay because after Clay's performance, he's playing like 30 minutes a game. Steve Kerr is going to be like, yeah. Clay, Clay led this team to win. Without Clay, the Cavs would have won this game, so. Yeah. Also, Clay broke Steph out of his um, slump. Three. And yes, then this sir. was the last shot from Clay. He uh, went out of the game with 241, but this was a great game by Clay Thompson.